I think not only because the world is facing a food crisis, but we are facing a deep economic crisis of work, of unemployment, of youth finding no way to go into the future. We must defend every acre of fertile farmland and we must protect every seed because out of the soil and out of the seed will come the future. I don't have too much detail about how the Milan Expo is being planned, but this is what it should be doing if it's not doing it. First, showing that a biodiverse, small farm-centered, ecological farm-centered, local distribution-centered food system is the only way we can protect the planet, generate employment, and feed people, first. Second, that the globalized and industrial system is a waste-creating system. It's not a food-producing system. It's a waste-producing system. It creates waste in terms of emissions that go into the atmosphere and give us climate change. 40% of all greenhouse gases are the waste of industrial agriculture. 75% of our water bodies have been killed because of the nitrogen waste running off from chemical fertilizers from the farms and the pollution from factory farms that's killing the water. 75% of the biodiversity has been destroyed, wasted by this waste-creating system. Human beings are being wasted everywhere. Farmers are removed off the land and no other work is given to them. But it's also wasting all life on Earth. 75% bees disappeared on the planet. So it's wasting life and it's creating junk which further waste life. All of that food could be eaten. And the half of the food that's grown and is being wasted, part of the problem is it's creating other kinds of waste. The waste of aluminium, the waste of plastic. Why do we have all of that packaging? Because food is being moved long distance. Fresh food, local food, food grown in a farm close to a city, brought to the school by a group of farmers next door. That is where we need to move. So we stop the food waste, but we stop the toxic waste also that goes with a waste-creating food system. I believe we are at the moment on, of history where either young people will occupy the land to protect it and to protect their future as their democratic right of being Earth citizens, creating Earth democracy and food democracy, or the big money, the big banks, the big finances will grab everyone's land and put it to real estate, concrete, jungles, because that's where the money will be. So someone will occupy. Either the land and the food will be occupied with love and care for prosperity that will last and is a shared prosperity, or it will be occupied by greed, devastation, and exploitation. And I would rather see the earth occupied by love, occupied by young people to create a new future.